my unsung atheist hero or heroine of the week. Now, it's Robert Ingersoll this week, and he's not exactly unsung to us atheists. But uh, I just figured I'd go ahead and talk about him because he's usually unsung to most theists. So let's learn about Robert Ingersoll, who lived between 1833 and 1899. He was an outspoken free thinker. An attorney, he married Eva Parker, whom he cited as being responsible for the development of his interest in women's rights and free thought. A colonel in the Civil War, Robert Ingersoll was the commanding officer of the 11th Illinois Cavalry. After the war, he was appointed Attorney General of Illinois. He was told if he would moderate his stand on free thought, he could be elected to high positions, but this he refused to do. Still, politicians asked him to speak in their behalf. He crossed the nation speaking on such topics as why I'm an agnostic, and the gods, and what is religion. He was friends with Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Marilla Ricker, Thomas Edison, and Mark Twain, and influenced the young Margaret Sanger. At this time, many freethinkers were being imprisoned for their writings against religion and resented Ingersoll for refusing to represent their cases. But Ingersoll said that he felt his very presence might prejudice the jury against the defendant in such a case. Still, he did what he could, using his influence and friendships behind the scenes to free the imprisoned freethinkers. Ingersoll had many enemies, especially among the clergy, but the integrity and humanity he displayed throughout his life made it impossible for them to accuse him of any offense except for misjudgment concerning religion, which, when considering the names they called other freethinkers, says much about the respect he generated. Crowds as large as 50,000 people came to hear him speak on religion, women's rights, and abolitionism. He was the freethinker to whom all freethinkers of the period pointed as an example of the excellence of their group. That's Robert Ingersoll, and we have a quote here. Quote, when I became convinced that the universe is natural, that all the ghosts and gods are myths, there entered into my brain, into my soul, excuse him, <laughs> it meant something different, I guess, back then, into every drop of my blood, the sense, the feeling, and the joy of freedom. The walls of my prison crumbled and fell, the dungeon was flooded with light, and all the bolts and bars and manacles became dust. I was no longer a servant, a serf, or a slave. There was for me no master in all the wide world, not even in infinite space. I was free." Unquote. That's Robert Ingersoll, my pick for unsung atheist hero of the week.